right, welcome to the Hillsborian Historian. My name is Rex, and what is the terrier serving up today with his history on a platter? Fred Laswell, who's known as the creator of Snuffy Smith. But there's a lot more to him than just that, so let's see what's going on. 1916, Fred Laswell was born in Missouri. Two years later, his family moved to Gainesville, and they had a huge chicken farm. This would provide an inspiration for the comic strip character of Snuffy Smith. There was no electricity or running water. There was a horse, a cow, a cat, a dog, and 2,000 white leghorn chickens. In 1926, the family moved to Tampa, and Fred published his first comic strip in the Seminole Heights Elementary School paper. He always followed his passion, and by 16, he had published work in the Tampa Daily Times. Laswell's family lived on Branch Avenue, and one day he and some friends met at his house. They ran from Branch Avenue to the front of HHS and met at the flagpole. The only problem was they were nude. This was the earliest example of streaking in HHS history that I have found. The police are involved, but Fred catches a break when they tell him not to do it again. He will catch the break of a lifetime shortly thereafter when Billy DeBeck sees some of his drawings and hires him to be an assistant. DeBeck wanted a backwoods character to complement Barney Google, who was more of a city character. And so, in 1934, a comic strip history was made when Barney Google met his distant cousin Snuffy Smith. One had come of age in the Roaring Twenties, the other was coming of age in the Depression. In 1942, DeBeck passed away, and at that point, Fred Laswell took over the comic strip. Snuffy Smith's popularity continued to grow, and in World War II, Laswell would serve in the Marines, and create the wartime character, Sergeant Hashmark. Laswell was more than just an artist. He pioneered a braille comic strip. He developed the Very Merry Vegetable Game. And in the 1980s, he won an award for his educational video, Draw and Color Your Very Own Cartoonies with Uncle Fred. In the 1990s, Laswell determined that it was time for Snuffy Smith to evolve and stop drinking moonshine and shooting everything. These choices helped the strip remain popular in an ever-changing world. In 2001, sadly, Fred Laswell passed away. He was 12 weeks ahead on his strips and had created a digital archive of his work. Laswell was honored with many awards over the years. These include the Rubin Award, the Elsie Seeger Award, and of course, he is in the Hillsborough High School Alumni Association's Hall of Fame. As for Barney Google and Snuffy Smith, in 2019, they celebrated the 100th anniversary of the comic strip with their many friends. Looking back on the life of Laswell, one can see that he continued to grow, innovate, and learn, doing what he loved daily and helping to make the world a better place. Well, as they say, I will see you in the funny pages. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Take care of each other, and as always, go Big Red.